Adobe has enabled graphic acceleration for Lightroom Classic image export. This helped reduce the image export time substantially. However, this function is not automatically enabled on all the machines. So let's find out how you can check if your machine is automatically enabled or not, and if it is not, how to go in and manually enable graphic acceleration to get the best performance from your computer and Lightroom Classic. This is Artist Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. You may have heard that the latest version of Lightroom Classic can utilize GPU for image exporting, which helped reduce the image export time substantially. Starting with version 11.4 and newer, this function is automatically enabled on many of the machines. However, in my extensive testing for the new M2 Max that are coming out and also benchmarking many of the Macs going back to multiple generations, I found out a few anomalies. The first thing is that if you run Lightroom Classic on a machine with 8GB of memory, graphic acceleration is not automatically enabled by default even though the program can totally go in and utilize it. So I'm going to show you how you can check to see if graphic acceleration is enabled or not. Now this does not apply only to the M1 and M2 Max with 8GB memory, this also applies to Intel machine as well. For instance, I have a 2019 16-inch MacBook Pro, and that one has the Radeon Pro 5500M video card. The GPU graphic acceleration is not enabled by default on that machine either. But before we get into checking how to do that, I want to quickly show you an export result so you have an idea of how much faster it's going to be when you go in and enable graphic acceleration. What you're seeing right now is Lightroom Classic exporting 1000 Nikon D850 files. These are my sample files that I use in multiple different videos from RAW to full-size JPEG. What you can see is that with the GPU enabled, we now have an export time of around 40 and 41 minutes. This is for the M2 MacBook Air and the M1 MacBook Air, respectively. When we do CPU exporting only, you can see that the time increased by almost double to about an hour and 10 minutes. So anyway, that is way too long. And if you go in and enable it, you can save a lot of time. So let's jump right into Lightroom Classic. I'll start this out on my M2 MacBook Air to show you what it's like when graphic acceleration is not fully enabled. Start by going into the Lightroom Classic menu, Preferences, or Command Comma. From here, you want to click on the Performance tab. And at the very top, we're going to zoom in. You can see right now that under Camera Raw, Use Graphic Processor is set to Auto. In general, we would like to think that Auto meaning that it's going to enable everything. However, this is not the case on a machine with 8 gigabyte or the Intel one. What you have to do is look below. It says this is Apple M2, and it says your system automatically support limited acceleration. The key phrase here is limited acceleration, meaning that it won't utilize the GPU for exporting. So you have to manually enable this. Do that by clicking on the auto drop down list there. You will see an option for custom. Click on that and pretty much check every box that you can see. First, use GPU for display, use GPU for image processing, and use GPU for export. Once you have done this, you can just simply close out the preferences panel. And pretty much once you're done with that, graphic acceleration has been enabled on your machine. Now let's jump into my 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro. What I like to see is that on this version, it's graphic acceleration automatically enabled. I've gone into preferences and I use the shortcut key, command comma. I'm going to click on the performance tab. And what you can see right now is that on my 16 inch M1 Max MacBook Pro, it's showing auto. However, below that is a little bit different. Apple M1 Max, your system automatically support full acceleration. So. If it says full acceleration, you can pretty much leave it as is. It's going to utilize the GPU acceleration automatically. However, if it says limited acceleration, you have to go in and manually enable acceleration. So anyway, I hope that you find this guide helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Give this a like, subscribe, and hit the bell if you're new, and in art retrust.